you're watching the market this morning, you may have been watching the tick, NYSC tick, number of stocks in an uptick versus those in a downtick. We see this a lot of times where it goes down to minus 1,000 or approximate minus 1,000. Don't usually see it stay under zero for this long. Almost an hour it was under zero. We've talked about this before um, in the middle of the day, but at the beginning of the day, don't usually see it staying below zero for this long. I tested this to see um, what would work. Um, if this would be a, a good strategy to, to go short or to go long, is this oversold or is this a trend, a good trend to take? So if we take a look at this on the ES, I wrote a strategy um, based on this, and here is the code, simple code. That's why I like easy language. You can put this code in really quick and get the statistics out. And so um, let's take a look. What, is the, what does the performance summary say? So this is the performance summary, and going back to 1998, um, I went back 20 years. I guess I could go back a little bit further. Um, I just typed in 20 years, so 83 times this happens, and it's a profitable approach. And so it's more of a trend signal than it is an overbought, oversold. Doesn't mean any given day it might not be a, an oversold day. There are certain time periods when um, you know it went down and did not work, and so. When, when did this happen? It did not happen much. It happened more in 98, 99, 2000, and then very few times in recent years. And so we've, ha we've had a bull market. There's been some, be some bear markets in that time period. Didn't have it happen at all in 2009, which is interesting. Only one time in 2008, and then seven times so far in 2018. So, I mean, what does that tell us? Is this a... Is this a bear market based on this? Um, what can we do to get, maybe get more trade frequency out of this? What if we take it to this time period right here? And so if we change the time just to 10 to see if we – just to get more trades, first 30 minutes, see what happens here with the results going back to uh, 1998 for 20 years. So um, more trades. This happens um, in the first 30 minutes. It trades 204 times. And so $3,500 drawdown. So you have a strategy that works here for 20 years, a $98 average trade profit. It doesn't trade much, but nice equity curve, nice strategy. Here's a freebie for you. Um, very simple. uses a $500 stop loss. It's set exit on the close, so you can refine that if you want. Trades on five-minute charts. Here is the easy language once again. And just – an example of how you develop a strategy based on a market observation instead of mining data you're watching the market and you see a pattern and you have a question about it so you develop that strategy that's one of the approaches I take to developing trading systems and um, it'd be interesting to see the inverse of this on the long side I'll let you test that on your side um, but that is the update for today what I want to share with you on how to potentially trade this tick, and if we're in a bull or in a bear market, um, 21 times, most times since 2015 um, or 22, the year 2000. So um, be interesting to see what happens here with this market.